He needs to practice more. I mean, he needs to practice more. Play against Sanford. He play against Sanford. He loves playing Ryu, and he loves winning with Ryu. He, he really feels as though when he wasn't Ryu, he's like, man, I I, I out played you in every way possible. I am the world warrior. <laughs> I'm talking about this thing. <laughs> Shout out to Sanford. What's up, Jose? Hello, Spooky. All right, guys. Once again, I want to thank you all for tuning in. Season's beating SummerSlam here on good old Twitch TV. Right now, we're deep into the Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition action. We have on the player one side, TJ, and on the player two side, we have Zerp. All right. So Zerp and Gamer be good friends, so no surprise that he's a big <laughs> hit on player. Oh, he's up. No, no. It, I think Zerp, Zerp is familiar with this type of uh, Ryu player. He needs to... Uh, I think no. if he just sits, like, chills out and observes him, he will know, like, exactly what to do. But right now he's just, like, trying to, like, go in and, like, carry out a game plan, but he doesn't really have one yet. He needs to figure out what kind of opponent he's playing. That's true. That was a shortcut, uh, PP, because he was trying to do jabber kick, for yep. sure. From what I've seen so far, what he really needs to do is he needs to change up his angles. He's really going for some pretty obvious Jaguar kicks. He should try to go for the empty jump, try to go for the late jump Jaguar kick, maybe go for a cross-up here or there. All right, like He's right doing, here. Yeah, yeah see, sick cross-up into the damage. Very nice. There we go. Again, got him with that cross-up. Very deceptive. That's going to be the round. Very nice. Built a lot of meter there, too, off the stun. Smart play. The Jaguar kick. This is the last round. Fight! I would also recommend, uh, yeah, <laughs> there you go. Right, 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 I was about to say it, like, just uh, try to catch fireballs when he acts uh, Jaguar kick. The most important thing in this matchup for Adon is basically what you're saying, which is to be unpredictable. If Ryu can't predict, then he doesn't know where to throw his fireballs, he doesn't know when he can reversal, he doesn't know when he can drag and punch out of the air, and that's very key. Because if Ryu is checking himself and not using all his options, then it's pretty easy for Adon to put in work. Oh, I went DP right there. Oh, uh, yeah, that would that, that would actually beat it up. Wow. He tried to DP again, but lost to Fear Sure you. Oh, cross up Tatsu. No follow up. Oh. He has to delay it. Yeah, exactly. You gotta trick him out. He had to delay the DP just by a tiny little bit. Alright, so TJ takes game number one. Very close game. I don't think Zerb should be discouraged. Instead, yeah, he, he knows more about him now. Yep. So I think it should be like way easier for him to deal. That was with a him. good sweep to start it off too. What? Oh, did I he backdash out of the set? Yeah, yeah. That was weird. No, but he Zerb did an empty jump. Yeah. If he had crossed him up again, he would have caught him. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, if he has to remember every time he caught uh the Ryu, it was with a cross up. Yep, that's true. And every time he went to hit up front, he blocked it. Just keep crossing him up. Nice standing roundhouse from Zerb, but he's in trouble right now. TJ's looking pretty good. Oh, punish that. Could have punished way harder. Yeah. It's okay, though. No. Oh. Uh, ultra. Yeah, I agree. Oh, you can still do it. Don't go random. Yes. Nice. That was, that was the best option he could have done. Keep Ryu in block stun so he can't mash out DP. Then go for a fuzzy guard. Fussy guard, uh, instant overhead. Oh, that's that's a safe jump. Yeah, that's definitely a safe jump. And Zerp should not be uh, be getting buffering anything. He should just yeah. block. Yeah, punish that. Very nice. The problem wow. is, I think Adon. I mean, Zerp is punishing uh, with full spears into roundhouse jab with it. That has the the worst Oki on wake up. He should opt for like short or medium jab or take, and the damage difference is not that great. It's a good trade-off for Oki. Let's see. Oh, that was okay. That, that was smart. I think uh, EXTP. Oh, I would have done EXTP. That's true. If he had gotten autocorrect there. Yeah, it, and even if it doesn't autocorrect, he would have. Uh, EXTP has a lot of horizontal movement, mm -hmm. so he, he could have like flown away to safety. I think Ryu can only punish it with like Ultra if he if he predicts the EXTP. Both players out of bar right now. 
TJ getting it with the cross up top two once again. TJ keeping it very, very basic, but it's working well for him right now. Yeah. No. Punish that. No. Missed the sweep link. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's a bit. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Tough break for Zerk. TJ looking good. Moves on. Yeah, the biggest problem is uh, Zerp. Uh, he, ha he hasn't been practicing a lot lately, but when he does practice, he's only practiced against uh, me or like uh, like Min, for example. Uh huh. And yeah, with well, SF, you have to really play a lot of different matchups. Yeah, you have you to have play, to play often. different different play styles as well. Cool. Anyway, I want to remind you guys to please follow Godlike Entertainment. Their Twitter is at Godlike Ent, as you see on your screen. Show them some love, guys, for putting together the event for you all. I'm gonna pass it over. Enjoy the rest. It's like Dark Souls. You died. You died. But not, you're out of humanity, and you can't become human again. That's okay. You can run around looking like a freak. 